Okay guys, today my wifey just got me a new Black and Decker. Cause napakamahal lang ang KitchenAid the mixer. So we'll just go for that one because of this. Meron siyang two crochet, crochet, whatever, dough. Pang dough mix siya. So nakuha namin siya ng $34. Sell siya ng 50% off. Let's move this one. Sell siya ng 50% off. So, nakuha na lang namin siya ng 34. So, meron siyang Helix Beater, Do Hooks, Warwis, at meron siyang kasamang with including show snap-on case. So, let's try to open up. We haven't opened this one, so let's see what's inside. If I can open this, I wanna make it nice, cause so that we can return it. Okay, what's inside this Black and Decker Performance Helix hand mixer? Okay, when you open the box. You will see the whisk, single whisk. And you will have two dough hooks. Ayan. Itong gagamitin ko para mag-bake ng mga tees to make some pandesal. And other doughs. And I guess this is the... Oh. Oh. If I can make some. It's like the beater or something, yeah. And it looks plasticky. It's not metal actually, it's plastic, looks plasticky. It's like, looks like it's black. Okay. Below one yan. And... The mixer itself. There's a holding case for your stuff. And this is the how many speed of this one? Okay, this is the main mixer. It says here it's five speed. Nicely done with the black and decker logo. And it says turbo here. I don't know how you can snap your up. Oh, you have to press it like that so that it will snap off your attachment. I'm gonna try this one now. So it is one twenty volts, two hundred fifty watts. Yeah, with the shiny chrome on top. Black and Decker and shiny chrome in front too. So basically, that's the Black and Decker Performance Helix Premium Hard Mixer. You'll get the mixer itself. And these two Helix beaters and wire whisk, single one. And your dough hooks. And your snap on case. If in case you're not using it, you have this. Let's remove it from the. Wow, with nice design on the side. Look at that. Not only just clear, but it has some design. Okay. That's it for the unboxing. And then I'll just make a review on how is the performance of this Black & Decker Premium Hand Mixer. Thank you for watching guys. Peace. And don't forget please, don't forget to click like, subscribe, and push the notification button so that you will be updated in any videos of ours.
Thank you and have a good day. See you. Peace. Okay, good afternoon guys. So now, I'm gonna make a video on the review of my new Black & Decker hand mixer. So we got it for $34 at Canadian Tire. And basically, we just bought it because of this two attachments. So today, I'm gonna make pond dissolve. So I'm gonna do the exact measurements for my pond dissolve but for today I'm just gonna make a review on this one the hand mixer so in putting this one you just don't basically put it see this oh. see that one there you go so basically you're gonna use this one they are not the same see the other one there has no this one and this one has none so basically you gonna pop that one in inside see how I do it there you go it pops and when you hear the click you're in and we're gonna put the other one too okay so basically that's how it looks like and this is why we just bought it because we want to make so much pandesal and it's not easy to knead the dough so we said we'll just try it so as of now we're just doing it to two cups of flour and I already mix the eggs, two eggs, half cup of sugar and my half cup of butter so I'll mix it in. Mix it well and I'm gonna pour it on my flour. do it like that mix all together it's exact measurement I'm just gonna do how to make pandesal soon okay and then mix all this one all together yeah guys hopefully it's gonna turn out good I know okay just mix all together and then we're gonna use our new hand mixer to make this dough usually I need it but it's not too easy to need okay so that's why I, that's why I asked my wife and you can put it like this this one so okay see my yeast it's super activated already so we're gonna mix the milk and the And the milk. Oh, did I do that. It's super activated already. Okay, let's just mix all together again. And then, if you can see the consistency like that, you can just basically add some more flour, okay, for the pond dissolve. Maybe a little more half cup of flour. Okay, I think this is a better consistency. Now we're gonna use our hand mixer. This is the first time I'm gonna use it, guys. So bear with me. Okay, let's see how it will perform. Okay, let's start in this. That's number one. That's number two. Three, four, five. Okay. It's just gonna do it slowly, okay? Okay, see. Okay, no, let's just review it too. I think it's okay. Better than needing. 
Let's see number three. Whoa, okay. Whoa. So that's how we do it in number three speed. I think it's doing the four plus good. Just leaving under. Let's do it for maybe five minutes or nothing. And it's making so much vibration, guys. See? But this is easier than needing, okay? Okay, I'm gonna like this. So that's only number three and it's making so much vibration. Let's see. And this is only two and a half cup of uh, flour. See, it's all mixed. I think it's good. Let's try one on this one side. I think you need number three. So, still, you need to make some effort to go around. Okay guys, I think, I don't know, this is the first time I use it, let's see on the next, it's not that warm, unlike the other, and there's no smelling burn, just like my other one, we use those one, my old one, and you can smell the burning inside, but this one, no, so we'll see, this is the first time, so I guess it's okay, too much vibration, but because this is two and a half dough, for my pan de sal and I still have to need it. Now that's the review of the Black & Decker hand mixer. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to don't I'm sorry. Don't forget to click like, subscribe and comment and click the notification button. Thank you. Have a good day. Peace.